I'm going to be showing you how to customize your desktop like this. Uh, you need two applications, you need bow tie and geek tool. And to get those, just go into your app store, your Mac app store, and just type in like geek tool or bow tie, and they're both free, so that's good. And um, yeah, you can do stuff like this with geek tool and down here is bow tie uh, okay so let's get started alright geek tool is how you can um, put like the date, the month, the name of the day a calendar and the time on your desktop and to do all of these, you have to first you have to put a shell down, uh, and say you want the Friday, which is the day, name of the day. You, I'll be putting these commands in the description, so you just copy the commands. So you just copy the command of the name of the day. And then go to your shell, paste a command into your shell, and you need the refresh. Um, you need the refresh time on here. It doesn't matter what time you put it on, but you need it on here. So um, I'll just do six seconds. All right, so you can see Friday there, but we can change the size of the size of Friday so you can make it bigger blah. change the font you can to whatever you want like that and then whatever color we want just like blue it's pretty cool alright pull that there close that Alright, so that's your first one. Next, we can do the time. So, add another shell, just drag it down there. Copy the command. Paste it into this shell. Refresh time has to be one second, otherwise your um, clock won't be right. You won't have the right time on here. Uh, just do the same stuff, whatever size you want, whatever font, and whatever color. Can put that under there. Close that. Um, Alright, so that looks pretty cool so far. Can put another shell down, and we can do the the month. So September. So, just copy the, the command, paste it into your shell, whatever seconds you want. So, I just do 500. Whatever size, whatever font, whatever color. And now for the date, uh, just drag another shell, copy this command, paste it into your shell command, refresh every, oh wait, I copied the wrong command, uh, one sec, alright, copy this command. <laughs> And then paste it into your. Oh, yeah, so um, refresh every 500 seconds, whenever you want, really. Whatever size.
Alright, so the calendar. To the calendar, you do another shell and just type in cow. Refresh whenever you want 500, whatever. Change to whatever color you want. Alright. Okay, the weather's a bit harder. First, you need an image for the weather, so you copy that down. Bring the image down to your desktop. The URL will be in the description again. So, the URL is this. Copy that. Paste it onto your shell, I mean, onto your image. Refer refresh. When should I refresh it? Every. You don't want it to, like, refresh a lot, otherwise, it'll slow your computer down, so. Just do 1000. Okay, and you also, you won't get a uh, picture like this at the start because you also need another shell. And you copy this information. paste it in but you guys shouldn't have this in the description you guys shouldn't have that and to get this you need to go onto your Yahoo weather which will be in the description the link uh, just type in your zip code or your city or whatever so I just do Sydney let's go Sydney oh, fuck. all right pick your country all right guys the link in the description isn't working at the moment but it should work for you guys. Um, yeah, so what you guys do is um, click on the link in the description, and you won't come. It shouldn't come up with this for you guys, but if it does, just wait and it will fix itself. And if it doesn't, it should come up with typing your postcode. Type in your postcode for where you are. And it will take you to a page where you have the weather for your city. And when it brings you this, you go to your browser bar, copy the link in the description. I mean, copy the link in your browser bar. And you go to the shell that you created. And just in between these two things punctuation marks um, you paste in the information this is not it but you just paste it in and yeah that should work your weather should be fine and everything alright so next we will be doing the bow tie which is this shows you what song is playing in your iTunes. So we'll get that started. This is free in the App Store as well. So, yeah. And bow tie. I've set my bow tie to be up here. So go into your preferences. And. Yeah, so this is my information. I have my bow tie start at login, so basically every time I log in, it'll come up. Um, it's hidden in the dock, so it's like there's no icon in here. It's alright. So you tick this if you want it to show in your menu bar, 
and I don't know what that is. Use bow tie as for a shortcut. I don't know what that is, but yeah, just take that. All right, so your themes. This is pretty cool. This is the theme I've got at the moment. Uh, just here. So you can get like heaps of different themes. Uh, I'll load up this one. So apply. All right, so there it is. All right, so also, where is it? All right. So I've got my this thing here at desktop level. So when I go into all of my other applications, it doesn't show up. It's only at my desktop. So you need to have it as a normal window so you can drag it to where you want. So I just put it there. And yeah, so I'll play a song. Just have any song. Yeah, so your album art will show you here. Alright, so pause that. And yeah, so it should all work. The only thing is the weather. That's that might be a problem if the link doesn't work, but it should work. It's, it did it to me before, but um, the website fixed itself up. So yeah. Alright, thanks guys for watching. I'll bring more videos soon. And yeah, alright, cool. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe.